Hello students, let us create the model of 7.5 conversion of isometry view into orthographic views. In this problem, you can start with the front plane as a sketch plane or even you can take the right plane as a sketch plane and you can draw. So what I will be doing is, I will be taking front plane as my sketch plane and I will be drawing three rectangles and I will be extruding with respect to their lengths. Open SOLIDWORKS, click on part, click OK. Select front plane as a sketch plane. And go to sketch, click on sketch. Rectangle, draw three rectangles. One is of the base, the other one is here, and the other one is at the top. So, like this, draw three rectangles and dimension is three rectangles now. So, this uh, dimension is 40 mm, and uh, given the height also each height is 10 mm. so this is 10 from here till here this is 10 and from here to here this will be 10 right next comes uh, the width now this is 40 and this dimension can assume it to be 15 mm 15 mm so now it is fully constrained as you can see the color of the line has been changed to black at the bottom you can see fully defined you can exit from the sketch plane select the sketch go to features click on extrude so each block you can in <coughs> extrude individually so this dimension should be extruded for 35 Click OK, use drop down menu, select the sketch, go to extrude. This one should be extruded for 10 plus 15, that is 25. Okay. Next, use drop down menu, select the sketch, click on extrude. This block should be extruded for 10 mm. Click OK. So, like this, we can create the blocks using. So, this completes the modeling. Let me save the file. Control S 7.5. File make drawing from part. A4, switch out this display sheet format, 297, tab, 210, click OK, MMGS, scale, everything is ready, then first angle projection, so you can go to view palette, drag the front view, and leave it onto the sheet, so suppose if you find the scale is too less, you can always select this, and you can increase the scale, say 2 is to 1. So 2 is to 1 will increase the size of the object. Then how do I generate the remaining views is go to drawing, projected view, click on the sprint view. So you'll get the top view as well as side view as well as the isometry. So all three views can be generated. After this I'll place it here and I'll make it into shaded mode. I'll select the sprint view, I'll switch on the green lines. Next comes the dimension. So go to annotation, smart dimension. So dimension begins. So this is 30, this is 40, this is 35. Similarly, here you can dimension this 10. This is 10. From here to here, this is 10. And this is 10. Like this, you can dimension the remaining objects. So, how do I remove double zeros? Go to Options, Document Properties, Dimensions, Trailing Zeros, Remove. So, now you could clearly see the objects. Right? So, this completes the problem.